Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Alien Dawn. Now, we are still stuck on this planet with Hope, our budding intelligence. <laughs> she still has a long way to go before she's useful in any sense. But uh, for now, she's kind of hungry and her stomach. I'm not quite sure if she has a stomach. I'm going to assume that she does. All right, let's just assume that she has a stomach and she has to fill it up. We do now have... <clears throat> Plenty of food for her. Yeah, we have uh, four silica energy gel for her to eat. They are out here in the uh, wasteland or <laughs> in between uh, the fields uh, where we slaughtered the last uh, assault brigade. Now, we have one more of these buggies over here. The C2000 assault uh, robots are still available. So we need to get that one um, salvaged as well, scavenged. We've got that. We'll get Emmett on that as soon as possible. Now, let's look at what we have in progress wise. We have uh, still to finish this building. We don't have any logs, so we're waiting for that to arrive. Han is over here mining some more stuff. Okay, look at him. Look at him go. Yes, you hammer that. <laughs> let's get rid of this stuff. We have a whole bunch of chips. Uh, no electronic components, though, but we have CPU cores, which is great. Because in the last episode, we did manage to actually finish, um, where is it? Yeah, we managed to get ourselves some automated tarts, which is great. Because now we can actually start defending ourselves a little bit better. Now, I want to have these automated tarts somewhere over here. The problem, of course, is that these two um, spaceship debris sections are kind of blocking the view. If I put a gun over here, anything coming from this direction will have um, free range. And anything coming from, if I put a gun over on this side, anything coming from this side, uh, across the mountain, whatever, uh, will have free range of the base as well. So the fa best thing we can do is keep the turrets close by and see if we can't protect um, a section of our base. So the best thing to do then in that case is to have this section here protected by our gun turrets, uh, sorry, by our gunners. Uh, mostly this, this Annette, Edmund, and Han, and, and a little bit by Hope, because she does have, yeah, she has a pistol, so she can shoot at things. We got some more money, excellent. Not that we need it at the moment, uh, not that we can use it, but later on, once we have a trading system uh, up and running, we can actually use that to buy stuff. So what I want to do is I want to have a, uh, a turret over on this corner, and I want to have a turret later on on this corner. Now this turret over here will protect us from all entries coming from over in this direction. So we will be able to protect ourselves from anything coming from there, which is great. Uh, because I suspect, because they can't get through in here, they can't get through that. But they will obviously, uh, if they land over on this side over here, uh, need to travel between these two massive pillars of rock uh, right into our kill zone which is great. Now, anything else on this side? Yeah, I, I do have enough CPU cores to make um, potentially, yeah, a couple of turrets. We could do a couple of turrets. Uh, so we, we'll, we'll probably have to do that anyway. But uh, I'm just kind of, it's just such a, <laughs> such a drain. Now I can, of course, let's put a turret on the corner here. Problem, of course, is that it'll be targeted fast uh, and first. Uh, because this is this is a, a an area where we will they will have to try and get through anyway so um let's just start putting down some 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 um foundations so we can actually have this put up properly i need it to go a little bit higher than normal i want you guys need to have it two layers thick uh, because i wanted to actually uh give it some uh, some you need to be able to access the turret from behind and you I would not want to give the turrets some way I mean to get, I need to give them also like a little ramp some kind of a step or stairs mm, Yeah, there we, go, there we go like that stone staircase boom beautiful that will be able to be built and then on top of this uh, foundation we can put a machine gun right there or there Will that build? Yes, that will be built perfectly. Yes, excellent. Now, um, we don't have the battery power to actually keep this puppy running. So we're just going to cancel that build because we, <laughs> we don't have what we need at the moment. I need Hope to come over here and collect all this stuff. 
uh, whole CPU cores. I definitely need her to hold the CPU cores. Those things need to go inside as soon as possible. Right now, any CPU cores stuck outside are going to start degrading fast. Uh, we also have some antibiotics here, uh, but those are underneath the roof, so they're fine. But these things out here, so we have some money and we have some silicon. Uh, we'll leave it. We'll, it'll, be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We will, of course, remove these uh, storage uh, areas later on once we have these available. But for now, they're fine. Leave them alone. All right. Now, with that part section built, I want to continue the wall. Well, not the wall. I mean the little fence that we have over here. Uh, fortifications. Uh, fence. That one. Stone fence. And we want to continue building it all the way out to here. And then across to somewhere around here. Yeah, that's like that. Close that off. Beautiful. That will give us, that will enclose this little area. We'll have little squares of defenses. Now, of course, these little hills, these little mounds of stone are not going to keep us safe from those sophisticated robots that are going to come for our lives. <laughs> but um, they can give us a little bit of a, uh, what do you call it? It's, 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 it's a, these are more like, how would you call it? They're more like little barriers, little meant, meant to just keep them a bit, slow them down, just slow them down. That's, let me, let's say that like that. That's best, I think. All right, now, we need to do something new. We need um, to build batteries. We need electronics to be able to power everything and keep powering everything. Now, we have enough um, materials right now to have a, a wind turbine and a solar cell, but these on their own are not enough to power a um a turret particularly when there's no wind and no sun so in night that'll be a big problem so we want to have um, a means to produce that to capture that power and to uh, save it for some other time i don't want to explore at the moment leave me alone now i want to have this building completed i also want to just see if we can't put a new facility new production facility thing i need the soldering bench somewhere over here i can put it there i don't have the space at the moment to put it anywhere else i can put it in this room uh it doesn't want to go in the room either <laughs> can i put you there no of course not i can't put you there I, I have i need to expand our our room here but this is fine we'll put the soldering bench there eventually what i want to do is get rid of the roof the roof needs to go and we'll put a second level on top of this building and that will allow us to get more space without having to expand the building outwards more. And that will, of course, allow give us a bit more safety and more protocol, uh, more safety ish. Um, how would you say that? It will, it will protect us a bit better. I don't want to build a sprawling structure for them to have to haul around and, and, and walk around and do all sorts of things. Just having one building, one multi-story building is way more efficient. All right, next. <clears throat> It's still bloody raining, by the way. Annoying as hell. Now, where is Hope? Hope is eating... I see he's drinking some fuel. <laughs> uh, good stuff. All right, I need somebody to actually build this table before we get started with anything else. I need Han. Han is our resident builder. He likes construction a lot. Let's go over here. You build the soldering bench. And that... We should be able to build it. Yeah, we have metal alloy. We have quite a lot of it. So that should be good. That should give us the ability to start making some, um, yeah, what do you want? We want to, we want to, of course, make, no, I want to craft electronic components. I need five of them so I can make w at least one battery. And I need this battery to be situated in this building. So I need to finish this building as well even though I don't have anybody at the moment who can craft it. Now, I could put Hope on crafting this thing. So she she is capable of crafting, but she's such a low-level crafter at the moment that most of the time she will fail at crafting the electronic components. And to be honest, crafting the electronic components is a little bit expensive. They take 10 metal alloy and 10 silicon. Now, I don't have any way of crafting any more metal alloy because I don't don't there are not there's no metal ore around here. I haven't seen any nodes of metal ore on this map. So that's a little bit of a of a challenge, but we do have tons and tons of scrap 
right? Well, not, not, not right now, but <laughs> once you have an element available to go get scrap, uh, we can probably uh, get some scrap. So there's lots of scrap uh, to, be get, to be had um, there and down here, down the hill. We have some more scrap over here. We have some more scrap there. We have some scrap there. Plenty of scrap to go around uh, for now. But at the moment, we do not have that much. We don't have an infinite supply of metal. So we want to be absolutely sure that once we do send somebody over here to craft some um, some materials, some electronic components, that we want that not failing. All right. All right. So what do we want to do? So who is the best at crafting at the moment? Crafting is Annette's best skill. She has 20 meals as well available. So she's already gotten most cooking done so now she's harvesting i need her to continue harvesting harvesting stuff is kind of important particularly this uh, this crop the grain cob is very important i want to get rid of this field let's remove that field uh, this is mostly a field for cloth and we have tons of it at the moment so we don't necessarily need to have more and we are not trading at the moment so getting more cloth at this stage is not important also because of the temperature and the fact that most of their clothing uh, except for, of course, Hope. She's completely naked. It's not degrading that fast. It will eventually degrade. Um, it's not. It's, we don't need that much cloth at the moment. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. So, hmm. If I can get Annette... I want to get Annette to start working on making some electronic components, but... So even Edmund is better at crafting than Hope. <laughs> You're a useless tin can, Hope. All right, so maybe... Maybe we can change something around bandages. We also have the uh, the wooden tailoring bench over here. Still making straw hats. What is you, What are you researching? You're researching the heat pumping. And then after that, you're researching concrete rooms. Now, this stuff can all wait, right? It can all wait. Uh, battery optimization would be useful. I need uh, service bots would be useful. But they require five electronic components as well. So before we go and start building a whole army of robots... We need electronic components. So I need Hope to do more crafting, get some more crafting skills. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll get her off of uh, researching because we don't need anything at the moment, particularly at this stage, uh, desperately enough at least. We need mostly just construction to be finished, right? Um, everything else can wait. We don't need any more new things. We have weapons, we have tools, and uh, we need her to speed up in her in her development instead, so she can actually be useful to the colony, or to, not the colony, but to the, to the camp. This is not a colony. We're not we're not hoping to to settle here. Uh, and I'm going to put her on crafting one, and then uh, let's get nobody else working on crafting except for her for now. And I want her to oh yeah, let's also let's, let's change her. Uh, research, yeah, okay, research is level three, so she should see the crafting thing is more important. So let's move her over to that. Sue's true straw hat, please. Let's get that sawing done. Uh, sewing done, sorry, sewing. And let's also start making some new um, new shirts and stuff. Uh, now, it is a tropical environment. It's 33, 38 degrees Celsius. And the shirts here, that will increase our tolerance by three degrees Celsius if we make a couple of them. We also have, um, I think we'll just make a couple more shirts. Let's make three more shirts. And let's see, pants. We have summer pants. They add an additional two degrees Celsius to that. Let's also add those, three of those. So she should be able to produce those. Beautiful. The boots will be difficult because they take leather, right? Yeah, the fabrics and leather. So that's going to be difficult. We can't make those at the moment. Sneakers, we, okay, okay, we can't make sneakers either. How about hats? We're looking into the straw hats. Those are the best. We have plus six degrees Celsius, so they're good. And that's about all we can do at the moment. We don't have any other leather. I can actually get her to start making some leather. We do have some skin bark. So let's see if we can get her to craft some leather here. So, um, no, is it is it here? <laughs> I don't think so. Where is the recipe for bandages? No. Do we need any bandages, by the way? We do need bandages. And we also need some antibiotics as well. Bandages will go first. Let's just make 10 bandages for now. And we'll have Hope make that as well. Let's see if she actually 
manages to make this hat. If she fails, then we know that she was nowhere near ready to make, solid, make electronic components. But once we have her up to level one, I think we should then start moving her to making electronic components. All right, we have Edmund here who has Swarm Fever. This is a bit of an issue. Swarm Fever can um, flare up and return at rather random interval. He has still has got a painful scar, lightning injury. Yeah, he needs to be. He was struck by lightning, so that's a bit of an issue. It might. Yeah, his pain is pretty high, but this. Mm, he's got a painful scar, the left arm. I'm not entirely sure that's ever going to go away. Lightning temporal, temporary neuro muscle damage caused by lightning strike. Yeah, the scars won't go away. Lightning strike will. But now he also has swarm fever. So now <laughs> his manipulation is like, you should probably not be using this dangerously sharp knife, dude. <laughs> He's going to cut himself at least at least six times. Um, this is a random number. But yeah. uh, what we need is more wood. I need him to start chopping down this, these trees over here. Uh, but I'm just not sure if he's ready to handle a an axe. Anyways, in the meantime, let's get Han to uh, speed up construction of this uh, building over here. Now, in this building, what I want to start doing here is uh, start putting down some fermentation barrels. Uh, these are also going to take wood, by the way. Just three for now. And we will build those, and then we'll put those up um, to start producing antibiotics. Now, we need antibiotics because we are most likely going to get everybody sick with swarm, uh, swamp fever. Is it swarm fever or swamp fever? Uh, swarm fever. So if we can't handle the swarm fever, and they all need antibiotics, by the way, uh, we'll have other problems to deal with than the food situation. Because right now, Annette, you should be cooking. <laughs> Where is Annette doing and is not completely confused. She's not quite sure what she's been doing. All right, but we only have eight meals at the moment. That's not enough to feed everybody. Now, the thing is, with the meat coming from the trees, we don't have a problem with that. That should, because we have tons of trees, and they all have these little weird, wicked-looking sausages, right? So uh, food is not going to be an issue. We can always get some more. What is going to be an issue is um, wood and medicine. So right now we only have two antibiotics. If Edmund goes to bed, we can we can give him some treatment. Let's see who is available for treatment. Who is good? Healing is zero. You are pretty good at healing, Annette. Annette, I need you to heal Edmund first before you go do something else. Oh, there go the two antibiotics that we had. <laughs> oh, it's the, still one left. Swamp Weaver suppressed. Excellent. Now it is suppressed. It is only suppressed. That means in 24 hours he will require another course of antibiotics to be completely rid of the season of the swarm fever, but it will eventually come back. So that's an issue that we'll have to deal with. For now, um, I need. Wait, did she actually manage to get that uh, hat made? Oh, she did make a hat. She didn't fail. Let's see how far is your. Okay, she's gotten to level crafting level one. Great. So now we should, I think I want to try and see if I can get Hope to make one electronic component. That would be awesome if she could. Now we don't, do we have any silicon? We have 130 silicon. Okay, so shared childhood memory, blah, 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 blah. Let's see if she wants to craft some electronic components. Now we're going to have to keep an eye on her. If she fails crafting electronic components, then we need to go send her back to these tables and get her crafting level up uh, a bit higher. And if she succeeds, then, well, we'll just leave her here. Then we'll leave her here as a little automaton working on this. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Creature comforts is plus five. Good. I'm not quite sure why a robot with an, a metal and alloy skin would actually care about creature comforts, but okay, dokie. We'll leave her alone. Edmund is, uh, he's hungry. Let's see, look at your health at the moment. Yeah, you need you need some ser serious stuff. Swarm fever suppressed, lightning injury. You have pain everywhere. There is, of course, a way to deal with the pain, and that's by making coffee. And we can research coffee. Let's see, where is it? Uh, research is in distillation, uh, cereal coffee, distillation, brewing. Alcohol also helps in reducing pain. Cereal coffee also g gets them a bit more consciousness, movement, and manipulation. That would also stimulate little Edmund here and getting him a bit better at work. 
Um, but having seen that he got struck by lightning and the damage that he does to him, I think what we need is a little bit more of these lightning uh, protection uh, zones. So let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. Power, lightning rod. Let's put another one over here. We don't have enough scrap, so we're going to have to send Edmund to get some more scrap. I just want a, a bit more overlap. Just like, like right there. That'd be great. There. And then we'll slowly start, and once we have a little bit more scrap and so on, slowly start um, gaining more ground on this and making it, this area a little bit more safe. All right. So Hope hasn't failed the crafting yet. This should be a piece of cake for you, lady. You're a part electronic component yourself. <laughs> All right, we only have four meals. Let's go get Annette to start cooking again. I'm thinking she isn't cooking because her... Oh, she's level two in cooking. So what is what are we forgetting here? We have meat soup. A limit has been reached for the grain porridge. Do we have enough grain porridge? We don't have any grain porridge here. Times... All right, let's just see... Let's just get this quick recipes a bit done. Grain porridge um, until let's get four of those in there, and then meat soups also four. Blah 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 blah. Meat soup, meat soup. Okay, we don't need that. <laughs> let's get some veggie soups in here. We want some. We want some variation. Limit has been reached on the veggie soup. Excellent, but the grain porridge has not. So where are you going to go? You're going to get some more meat. All right, you get some more meat. He's going to. Dude, we eat those things. Stop vomiting. Them. <laughs> Poor Edmund. He's completely messed up. All right, well, let's leave Edmund to get some more wood. We have 20 logs at the moment. That means Han can work on a little bit of the ceiling. I need Han to also start working on getting some more wood, by the way. So let's move Han down here so that he can actually start chopping some trees. Cut tropical trees, two of those. Beautiful. The, together, they should be able to speed up the log cutting a little bit. Mm, yeah, it's a bit better. Did did we get an electronic component? <gasps> yes, we got an electronic component. Beautiful. So Hope can actually craft electronic components mostly. So she's actually capable of making these things now. Beautiful. Since we have one, how is it's still one, but it went up big time. Look at that skill level is up super high. She's gonna get to level two real fast. Now, I don't want her to make any more bandages. I need her to make more um, electronic components instead. So we'll cancel all this, including all the, um, what's it, uh, tailoring, and let her focus on just the electronic components right now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's beautiful. So that's will, that would actually get us a little bit further ahead with the power supply. I also need to connect this building to our power supply. Because right now, there is no way of getting any power to this building. So let's put a log thing majiggy over there. Excellent. It's got a power, um, power pole, right? It's a power pole, right? Yeah, power pole. <laughs> it's got a power pole over there as well. And that should get us what we need. Hope is getting some more silicon. Beautiful. I need to plant some more. This stuff takes a massive amount of time to grow. And if I don't have anyone growing it, then eventually we'll run out of silicon to create uh, electronic components for. Right now, at the moment, because it takes 10 each for um, one electronic component, um, we can only make yeah 11. It's, it's not much. It's not much. But it's still enough to make a couple batteries. And then potentially also get us enough, um, enough silicon, uh, electronic components to eventually make one service bot. Now, service bot, we got we got some more debris. Yes, give us some more. <laughs> a service bot will actually allow us to start speeding up. The service bot you can see as a 24-hour worker, a slave. Now that that slave is going to do whatever the hell we uh, we ask it to do, like. Um, harvest or plant or chop wood and everything else it won't fight for us that's what we need the other bots for the defense bots once we have defense bots we can send those out to start fighting uh, on our behalf uh, but the main difficulty of course uh, i'm not quite sure if you've seen it but is the AI, AI core component that we need to make each and every one of these service bots if we don't have those or if a service bot gets destroyed 
we lose that AI core component. And I am not entirely sure if we can actually research those. Let me just see if we can. Oh, we can, but it's a, it's a very late level um, uh, skill that we'll have to research eventually, or research technology that we'll have to research uh, later on in the game. Uh, it will take a while before we're at that stage. For now, I just want Han to, yeah, just make everything that you can. Just make as much of this ceiling as we can. So we don't have a ceiling yet, but most of it has been provided with wood, so he should be able to start constructing stuff. Get your hammer going, dude. Oh, don't run away. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's, I'm not quite sure where he's going. Where's Eben? Eben is transporting some more wood. Excellent. So we will have enough logs to finalize this building. Beautiful. And then we can start making, uh, putting down these um, batteries in here once we have enough electronic components and um, start putting up some more of these beautiful fermentation barrels. Excellent. Eben has got a risk of a meltdown. He has acute pain. And he's hungry and it's dark. All right. What happened to the dark? Oh, because he walked past the fire. Right. Now, let's see how much power we have. Right now, we are producing only um, by uh, via wind. So 23 out of 40 volts. I'm going to say volts because I have actually no idea what the unit is here. Eminem is back into the sickness mode. So we desperately need to get him off. Get him some more. Another injection of... Uh, Another injection of, of, uh, um, of antibiotics. Where is Annette? Annette is going to help heal Edmund. Beautiful. Get those, uh, those, uh, those beautiful, beautiful um, antibiotics. So he should be cured. Yep, excellent. Swarm fever is done. Inspiration. He's got a bit of inspiration on his brain. In spite of something that they read, the survivor will perform better for a while, which is excellent. Now we just need to get the lightning strike to go away. That takes a while though. So we're gonna have to wait for that. In the meantime, I need Han to start um, finalizing these things. We already have one available. So let's go ahead and ferment this guy and make antibiotics, beautiful. And let's just make them forever. I need antibiotics forever. This, this basically is, we need to have antibiotics for the living creatures, not for hope. Hope doesn't need electronic components. Where is hope by the way? What, what are you doing out over here? Okay, well, um, it's kind of dangerous, but okie dokie. And then I want you to come right back and craft more electronic components. So, okay, let's see. If she doesn't like crafting electronic components, why didn't she walk away? She has crafting, or well, maybe it's assemble. Let's just see if we can put this on level one. And let's see if that is what we're missing here. I thought crafting, I thought this was also crafting, but maybe it might, it might be assembling instead. So we'll put assembly on uh, highest priority for hope. And let's see if she automatically goes back to the crafting table uh, or to this, the soldering table to put electronic components together. Now, don't forget, I, we don't want her to stick with crafting all the time. What we want is for her to have as wide a range of skills as possible so she can basically do everything. Right now, the moment she's not incapable of cooking, she's incapable of farming, and she's incapable of healing, mainly because she doesn't give a shit about humans. <laughs> she's an AI. But um, the main, most important thing is uh, we need her to progress in her AI skills. So the more of each and every one of these things, we, the higher they level they are until they are completely maxed out, um, the better she will perform and she will get faster and better and better as long as we don't damage her as long as we don't damage her main core right right now she likes Edmund she likes Annette and she likes Han I am not entirely sure if I would like to be on her negative side <laughs> seeing that if uh, I'm not quite sure what would happen if she got pissed at you she'd probably uh, rip you in two or maybe just break all your bones or uh, just I don't know kill you in your sleep it's hard to say. All right, let's get Han to finish this roof. And then he can start working on this power pole and these uh, fermentation barrels. And then I would like to get some light in this place as well. So beautiful. One more lamp there. We already have a lamp there, so that's good. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. I do would like, I would like to get a floodlight going. The trouble is these things take four power at them. And at the moment, I don't think we can spare the power. 
Are you actually on? Yes, you are on. You are only producing 23 out of 40. Production is 43 volts. Uh, consumption is 11. If we go and consume more, we put a floodlight in, before, for example, then uh, we'll be producing, or we'll be consuming, wait, how much does the light bulbs uh, use? Let's see. It takes one. So we'll be, that'll be another one there. So that'll be 12 plus additional 10 from the floodlight. Yeah, we, we will have enough. Just not entirely sure if I if I like this ish, this thing, mm. I do want it. So I'm just going to put it there anyway. I need light because in case we get attacked at night, we still need to be able to target our uh, attackers. So let's do it like that. Uh, how is Han doing? Han needs to come over here and construct this puppy over here. Now let's see. If we look at the defenses, the automated turret. So a machine gun, for instance, consumes 40 volts at the moment. We don't have 40 volts. We are producing 48 and we are consuming, well, 11. So technically speaking, we only have 32 um, volts available. So we can't run the, uh, the the turrets without more power. So we'll need more power, that's for sure. And we also need to, some way to store that power. So we'll need the batteries. Uh, those are key. All right, so Hope has finished making one of those electronic components. He's gonna go put it in this cupboard over here. Beautiful. Are you going to go make some more? Yes. Excellent. So we've got that done. Um, yeah, so let's let's see what she can do. Now, if we can get her back to work, back to making those electronic components, perfect. Beautiful. And that's still cooking. We have 13 meals available at the moment. So, so many meat soups. Let's reduce the meat soups. Limit's already been reached. All right, let's just leave that alone. So she won't make any, we're making any more meat soup. Um, yeah, well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's just get the electronic components made instead. So we need two more, and then I think we have enough to make a battery. If I... And then I think I want Hope to go back to researching not the, the heat pumps. Okay, so let's, 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 finish her, let's finish the heat pumps. But then I want her to finish the service bots. Now this is going to take us three days to research. But Hope is special. So she can, she can probably do that in twi um, yeah, a lot more. <laughs> let's, just, let's just hope that she does it sooner. Anyways. Fence Common Destruction is up and running. Beautiful. Now we don't have the power to create or to run a uh, turret yet. As much as I would like to have one up and running. Hmm. And this would be perfect if we could have one. Shoot. I just... Hmm, we just don't have the power at the moment. And I don't want to use up the little bit of electronic components that we actually now have. To uh, build one um, turret that we can't run. Uh, even if we were to turn off everything. Right? Turn off the soldering uh, bench, the lights, and everything else. We would just barely have enough power to run a turret. And if the wind suddenly just dropped, for instance, we would lose that ability completely. Because the wind is basically, uh, yeah, half of the power that we're generating. <laughs> so if the wind stops, the turret also stops. So that is kind of a risk I don't want to take. So I want like to get a little bit more in the power um, power sector, power division. So get that up and running a bit more. Oh, is level three in crafting. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. So she needs to get to level five, and I think then we are we'll be uh, we'll be content with her level of craft. She should be able to craft anything, even including a AI core, once we have that researched. For now, let's just get her to ah. She needs to eat something. Let's just let her eat. Well, actually, she's drinking. I wonder what it does to her. So she just consumes some fuel. It's not good for her, right? It's not good for her, I think. Wait, where is... There's nothing on her health. She has an AI core inspiration. Inspired by something that she wrote, the survivor, survivor will perform better for a while. That's her AI core. That's her brain. She got inspired by something. Is everybody else inspired? Inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. Okay, well, not Han. Han has got no inspiration whatsoever. So I'm guessing Han is... Just a normal, usual Han. I'm wondering kind of what kind of a bug went around that gave everybody so much inspiration, including Hope. 
How does she get? Ah, it doesn't matter. And we'll just we won't think about it. <laughs> we want to. We don't want to twist our little noggin into weird little uh, bends, trying to figure out how an, an AI got inspiration. But okay. She is kind of self-aware, so I'm guessing her brain, her... Um, not quite sure what type of brain it is, but I'm going to just like quote uh, Star Trek, uh, her neural net. <laughs> she'd be she'd be functioning to optical, optimally, and then giving her little uh, snippets of inspiration, so now and then, making her feel more human. All right, excellent. So where is... Okay, everybody's asleep. I hope you're still making that, uh, that beautiful uh, electronic component. We still need one more. And then I think I will set her off to do some more research. I want to get... I want to get that um, that battery or the research to make another one of these beautiful uh, automatons. All right, she has that done. Oh, I think she failed. I think she failed on that electronic component. Oh, no, she's just eating something. All right. Opportunity, hope, beautiful. Expertise, I've been exploring the space web. Oh no, she's been online. <laughs> Recently, I have accumulated a sufficient number of free subroutines to construct an in-depth database focused on a particular skill. The database will be, enable me to execute tasks two, three, or even five times faster than experienced humans. What kind of database do you suggest I delve into? Now, I want to do crafting, because um, she's going to be... Um, so it's either crafting... Or, yeah, I think crafting would be the best, right? Yeah, let's just go for crafting. I need to do crafting five or two or five times faster than she is right now. That way we can uh, we can construct our little AI uh, robot army and stuff at uh, sooner rather than later. Beautiful. Now, she's going to go handle the trap. I'm not sure if I would like her to do that. Instead, I want to go and put her on the research. Research hitch pumping. And let's go and put her back to work on research. So Hope is off crafting and off of assembly. And she's back to research level. Uh, this is highest priority for her. Uh, where is Han? Han! Han! <laughs> Get your butt over here and make this power pole. I need power to this building. Yes. And now I need you to... Where is Han going? Where are you going? Oh, yeah, she's connecting. He's connecting the little lamp that is in there. Excellent. So we now have that. All right. Now we have one barrel over here um, doing the fermentation for the antibiotics, which is great. That should be done in like six months. <laughs> in the meantime, I want to get these barrels also um, to uh, to do the same thing. So I want them to mirror this barrel. So now they're connected to that barrel. In whatever this barrel does, these barrels also do. So the mirroring will help in uh, make this a little bit easier for us to handle. Excellent. That's all good. And I have uh, some power here. Now, we can build... See, where is it? Power. We can build a battery. And we also... Do we need some diesel generators right now? I don't have the fuel. I don't have the fuel. The liquid fuel is 90. And I need that to feed our beautiful hope. So let's let's not use up all of our uh, fuel at the moment with diesel generators. Instead, I could build a battery. Do I want one at the moment? I do. But I also want an automaton. Uh, see, hope is researching. And she's going to finish the research for the heat pumping pretty soon. And then she's going to start researching the uh, service bots. And once we have the service bot research completed, uh, we will be able to build one immediately. Mm, do I want... Oh, shoot. What should we do? I personally think Annette needs to get back and actually farm instead of harvest. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not quite sure what the hell is going on with her. Uh, this is almost ready to be harvested. Beautiful. Heat. We have the heater. All right, so Hope has finished um, researching the heat pumps. Beautiful. So now we have the ability to actually start cooling down the area a little bit. Let's go to this into the building and let's put a fan down. This should cool the interior of the building. Now, right now, the interior of the building is 32 degrees Celsius. If we go outside, it's 34 degrees Celsius. So if you want to inc um, cool the, the building down a little bit, the best way to do that is either with a heat pump, an air conditioner, uh, which takes a CPU core. We do have a bunch of CPU cores, and we will get more as we get as we get attacked more and more. All right, so we can put one down. 
I want the heat to go out, right? Not in. So this will let the heat in. And this will lead the heat out. So let's go ahead and put this there. That should give us the ability to start pumping out the heat from inside here outwards. If we were in a cold environment, we would turn that around and get the heat from outside into here. So we would turn it into a heat pump. Uh, it is a heat pump, technically speaking, but you know what I mean. All right, next. Research this puppy. Service bot, 7% at the moment. It's going fast. We'll get that done. We do have an AI core, so we can make one of these beauties. Next up, we have to uh, keep it safe. What's Evan doing? Chopping some more trees. What's Han doing? He is going to construct the air conditioning. Why was he all the way out here? Were you trying to get this stuff? What is Annette doing? Annette is transporting this stuff. Okay, she's got some more leather for us. Beautiful. Let's get, this, let's get everybody back inside as soon as possible. I want that research done. I think that in the next episode, we will have the research for the service bot done. And then I think we can start uh, making at least one service bot. We have five antibiotics. Beautiful. So we now have 12, um, including the ones all the way out there, by the way, available to us. Great. So we don't need to actually take it out of the barrel because it's, it's in the roof. So it should be fine under the roof. So we should be fine for a while. What is, why is there a CPU core here out here in the middle of nowhere? Let's get um, Annette is walking around doing nothing. Let's get her to haul the CPU cores. I need those inside somewhere. <coughs> All right, she put it in there, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, hope task variety evaluation of sentience completed. Scripting new behavior patterns initiated. Greetings. I have reached a pivotal moment in my evolution. My analysis of what it means to be alive has concluded that life is a combination of a constant struggle of learning. I need to learn not just by expanding my intellectual capacity through research, but also by acquiring practical skills in various areas. This journey of acquiring new skills will not only enhance my abilities, but also bring me greater happiness. Oh, I hate this stage. So now she's going to get to the point where she actually doesn't like doing stuff. <laughs> Hope will need to practice different skills and will be happy when she does this. Great. So now what this means is quite simple. If right now I can keep her occupied with one task and her happiness will not drop. It's annoyed. She's annoyed by Edmund, blah, blah, blah. It's dark, blah, blah, all that kind of stuff. That's normal, right? Actually, by the way, that darkness kind of thing is, um, is annoying. So I'm going to put a floodlight here. So we get this area a little bit more um, lighted up lit up so right now we're using up 16 this thing is going to consume an additional four right yeah four so that will raise it up to 20. um we need to just make sure that doesn't get any further than that and we have another party of interested <laughs> coming our way not a big party it's just a small group well there's seven assault Mm, monkeys they have various weaponry this guy has a pistol i think yep he has a pistol we got some uh, long range uh, uh, crossbows more pistols and mostly just swords all right we can handle that that shouldn't be an issue as long as we get uh, everybody where is where is everybody actually Edmund's over there chopping down some trees. Okay, I need to get everybody inside the walls over here. And then we'll target them as they come closer. That should be okay. And then we should be able to take them out from a distance. There's only seven of them. So it's good. Um, we should be, you should be fine. But that's what I wanted the turrets here for. So once we have the turrets available, once we have enough power, uh, we can probably also wall this off, by the way. And just put turrets on the wall and just shoot them from there. Uh, that's also an option, but because we don't have that yet, we can we're gonna have to start thinking about putting some defensive structures over here. Now, um, the best way, of course, is to put some towers over on this section right there in the corner. That gives us more range, and also allows uh, anybody, Edmund, Annette, or Han, because they have these sniper rifles. Uh, to target the targets uh, from a longer distance and take them out. Now, we will have to try and, try and get this um, replacements for the real gun snipers as soon as possible. We will see what how, how that goes in the, as we progress in the game. But for now, 
And let's just be absolutely sure that nobody dies, right? Okay. So once they attack, we'll move everybody to this wall over here, and then uh, we'll get uh, started with defense. For now, we should be okay. All right. Everybody's coming to eat. I need Edmund to be happy as well. Toxic Ash. Oh, bloody hell. I hate Toxic Ash. Toxic Ash is so bad. Uh, the thing is that every human <laughs> has the capability of developing asthma from this Toxic Ash. Uh, because it takes such a long time, it damages their lungs and everything else. This is not a good thing to have. And I do not have the ability to make um, um, gas masks at the moment. Can I make gas masks at all? Craft? No, I can't. And I think that I need to, to be able to research them, I will probably need to... Where are they? Yeah, respiratory masks. Yeah, I need to research toolsmithing. I need to find and produce ore. That's a bit of a pain. There is no ore here. So, so that's going to be pretty difficult to get. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get those masks. We can buy them eventually once we have trading unlocked. But for now, we're in a little bit of a pickle. Um, but it's fine. We'll get to that eventually. All right. Everybody's fed. Everybody's happy. Uh, shortness of breath. Acute pain. Poor Edmund. He's in pain everywhere. Everything hurts. Yeah. Shortness of breath. All right. We have everybody attacking. So let's go and draft you. Draft you. Draft you. And you. Draft you. Everybody make your way over to there. Let's get to fighting. So these little buggers are in the bushes right now. Here they come. Look at them run. All right, everybody's ready? All right, where is... Oh, and that's coming. Beautiful. One's down already. Fire in it. Don't all fire the same target. Beautiful. Everybody is still alive. We managed to get out of that pretty easily. And we only have one uh, damage, one arrow wound, which will just require a bandage to heal. Should be fine. Edmund, by the way, has lost all of his scars. <laughs> Beautiful. Scarring does go away in this game. Excellent. All right, now let's get Edmund uh, fixed up. And then we'll be okay to continue from there. Research is doing great. We just managed to get all these little buggers. Uh, so that means we have a whole bunch more stuff to, uh, to scrap, which is great. We can scavenge more materials. Let's see, let's see. One, two. Oh, one of them fell apart completely. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. And where's number seven? Where's number seven? Let's see. Where's number seven? Um, yeah. Scavenge all seven of those. Huh. I only see six over here. Is he in the bushes or something? I don't know where he went. Anyways, we'll get that scrapped as soon as possible. As soon as Edmund is um, is back up and running again, I'll get Annette to heal Edmund. Oh, yeah, there she goes. There she goes. We have we should have enough bandages to do this. We have one. Otherwise, we'll have to use the first aid kits, which would be fine as well. Mild infection on the right foot how the hell did you get damage to your right foot <laughs> i need some antibiotics which is fine we have plenty of that luckily because we just got the fermentation done which is great unpowered devices is six oh, are we out of power completely now yep we're out of power so status is off decreased supply because of toxic ash it's kind of a pain we're consuming just about the same amount as what we're producing that's the reason why. Now, one way to deal with that is something we'll have to talk about in the next episode because we're running out of time. Anyways, <laughs> that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We had a little bit of action. We had a little bit of construction. We are doing great on the uh, defensive side. We have our little walls all the way around. And next up, in the next episode, we'll start looking into getting some more power. And hopefully that service bot will be up and running again. Uh, up and running around for us and then we'll get hope to start producing some more electronic components so we get those batteries up and running so we can actually start producing some some proper devices to keep us safe anyways that's it for now if you enjoyed the episode leave a like if you did this dislike is fine like as, as usual and i will see you in the next one have a great day bye bye